Alrighty, it is time for a little bit of a miracle to occur. So we are playing Jacob Kamiski, the Pen Swords version of Modern Miracles. Uh, by Modern Miracles, we mean Counterbalance. So he just basically took a similar shell uh, to Aspiring Spike's Blue-White Miracles and put in Lightning Bolts and Electrolyze instead of any of the white spells. Uh, we've got Anger of the Gods and Raid in the sideboard. And then it's like really mono blue control other than that, which makes me think that there's probably a black blue and a green blue version of this deck that are very similar. Uh, otherwise, let's hop on in. Not too much to say about that. So we'll see if we can figure out anything more to say about this awesomeness as we get into it. The regrowth effects all appear too expensive in green, and reanimation isn't a thing in blue-green. I mean, if we splash black, do we have yet better options? Obviously we do, I'm just saying. Oh, we can play an unearth. An unearth with Uro is pretty okay. Yeah, unearth seems like a... Slam dunk for that deck. So then you can play one Thassa's Oracle and one Unearth. Mortuary Mire. What? I... Wait, what? What is this card? But it's not a swamp. Okay, I see. I see why it's... It's not fetchable. Uh, I don't need it to be, right? At all? But I need to have a land drop available. I, I think Unearth is probably better. Alrighty, perhaps got our first first match finally. Let's do it. Let's go. Uh, hand is fine. One Jace washes the other, I suppose, and if we get thought seized then uh, we don't need to worry about that. Actually, we probably need to worry about it more, but hopefully hopefully it's not a problem. Oh, you want to shock your turn one steam vents, do you? Well, I'll do one better, opponent. I'll do you one better. I wonder if we somehow hit the mirror match. Fiery Islet. I don't think so. This is probably the As Foretold deck. Against which this hand is quite poor, but our general stratagem should be okay. I don't think playing one of uh, Thassa's Oracle is a good idea when Lurus is public enemy number one. Well, 
I think then playing Uro is also probably a bad idea, and then playing the combo deck in in any configuration that it's currently in is probably a bad idea. So like, I I don't know what to tell you. Like, I think I think being afraid of that is is nonsense. I, I don't. No, I, I know, but I, I'm saying if we're going to not play the Thassa's Oracle because of that, like, I don't know. Or not not play a single Thassa's Oracle, like, I don't... I don't think clunking up on combo is a good idea, or... I... yeah. I think the percentage of games we'll actually lose to that situation is very low. It sounds scary in theory, but the number of times having one Thassa's Oracle only in the deck mattered ended up being zero. Um, and the number of times having two was relevant was, I think it was also zero. It's going, it's going. We've moved on to match the first of... Deck this goodness gracious two spell pierces, match the first of deck the second, and um, Roy is engaging me in a spirited discussion of what we could be doing with the previous deck in future iterations, which I enjoy. Here's my Jace. I got nothing better to do. I hope all your spell pierces being blown on my relative wheel spinning was worth it. Yeah, okay. Ooh, fancy. It is fancy. This is a very fancy burn deck. Get him with that big brain. We'll see. One of the biggest problems with thinking you have a big brain is the high likelihood that you are, in fact, a small brain. You think you have a big brain, but you are not a big brain. Create a Gargonon into exile, sure. Their hand is not going great. There's Fancy Burn. Yeah, um, Fancy Burn is any deck that has, like, lightning bolts and uh, usually blue spells in it, but it's, like, Burn is, like, by far the best version of the Burn deck, and so there's, like, a bunch of decks that are, like, well, they're like Burn, except for they don't focus they they play a bunch of nonsense and nonsense is one of my favorite things to play so i wonder if i was supposed to keep that opt i bet it was oh well we'll be fine well i'll be good probably maybe not do they have Ooh, okay They could, they could restore balance. You're able to comprehend that you might be a small brain, so you're already ahead of some. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely, that's definitely true, but. Surprisingly, not all that heartening. It's like, you, you're smart enough to know that you might be stupid. It's all right. I guess that's a place to be. Force of negation is exactly what I needed here. Uh, let's put snap. No, I kind of want to start beating down AS ASAP. Let's just throw both the lance on top, I guess. No. What do they play that spell snare could spell snare? Is electro dominance? I kind of want the bolt. I kind of want. I kind of want everything. Uh, yeah, let's bury the spell snare. And if I need the spell snare, I can cast op to get to it, I guess. But then I don't have enough blue for everything. Ah, we'll be fine. This will all be fine. We're going to bolt snap, bolt at end of turn, and we're just going to kill him. That's what we're going to do. But not this turn, because that Ancestral is coming off suspend. This Ancestral is getting Archmage's Charmed.
Get out of here, you. Nobody likes you. You're old and you're ugly. Nobody likes you. You wish to try to electro-dominate me, you say. Oh no, this is as foretold? Shall indeed come to pass. No. Electro-dominance for one? Why would you electro-dominance for one? What are you doing? I have a confused... Are you going to poke my Jace? It's not very nice. Why would you poke my Jace? Finale of promise. Okay, that makes sense. Floating a blue. Why did you float a blue? Did you miss tap and then... Whatever. Uh, force it. You can't spell pierce me, baby. I left all the mana up I needed. So put Archmage's Charm on top. Yes. Draw. Whoa, an Archmage's Charm. Holy crap. Um, bolts. Delta? No, Delta Bolts. Because yeah, I can end turn, end of turn, opt, Bolt Snap Bolt. Yeah, cool. How close is this giant elephant-like boy to coming in and smashing my face. Not particularly. Good. Good. What? What are you? What? I? What? Stop. <laughs> you keep doing things in a way that hurts my brain. Stop it. That's fine. Why? Why did you? Why? Okay. Opt. That one, please. All right, here comes the fancy burn. Bolt them. Snapcaster. Chaps. This snappy chappy is getting this lightning bolt. Okay. Cast that on your face. Fancily burn you. You have been burned most fancily. Fancifully? Probably fancifully. Uh, do I want to set any of these cards? No, I'm good. Uh, let's draw. Put back Spell Snare. Do I want Omen on top against them? Probably not. Oh, I can reset with... A, yeah, okay, cool. I think we win. Here's my counterbalance. Okay, go ahead. All right, I have a confession to make. I don't have a card in my library that I can counterbalance your greater Gargadon with. So if that's what you're concerned about, I gotta tell you, I can't do it. Can't be done. What are you playing? Spirit Guide. Four mana? What do you need four mana for? Cast Simeon Spirit Guide? Oh, to block my... Oh, I see. I see. Uh, uh, let's go put Force on top. I'd rather not, not deal with anything. I'd rather just win. Oh, put Electrolyze on top. Yay, we win. I did think of Commit to Memory because Commit to Memory combos with uh, uh, Ominous Seas. So I guess we could play a Commit to Memory, Narset, Days Undoing in the same deck. Which would be a funky way to take it, I think. It also counters Greater Gargadon. Oh, thanks, bud. And here I am telling my opponent I can't do that. When clearly I can. No, I, I, I understand what you mean. 
Since commit to memory doesn't have the words on it counter target spell, I inferred from my p previous boasting about the fact that I couldn't counter their greater Gargadon with my counterbalance that you did in fact mean with counterbalance. But, but I thank you for continuing to post the reasons for your thoughts because occasionally you are much, 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 much smarter than me and I don't follow along. You skipped through your turn. I did not. I, um, I did not at all. <laughs> Why would you say that? It's so mean. <laughs> all right. Uh, Aether Gust, Flusterstorm. I think that's probably it. Take out Electrolyze and Sod. Eh. Two volts. And a spell snare. Spell snare seems pretty medium against them. Yeah. This seems like a really good matchup. We have force of negations and counterbalance. I think I'm leaving in the one spell snare for the dream of snaring their finale on X equals zero or electro dominance on X equals zero. No Lutri. No, we're not playing that deck. Why? No, Roy, we're playing a good deck. We've opted in for a good deck. Like a properly good deck. Uh, keep. It's not good. Actually, we, we almost definitely should have mulliganed this. My bad. You've changed, man. I haven't changed. The game changed, man. I'm just trying to stay with it. You're living in the past, Roy. You're living in the past where you think Infect is good, man. Titan's dead, man. What the hell are you doing on my upkeep with two red men? This is turn zero Electra Dominance. For Rhinos? Wow. Yeah. I mean, I guess. So even if we had had... Let, let's, let's just appreciate for a half second how sweet that was because even if we had had a force of negation they played around it they played around it remember that thing where i was like this hand is not going to be good enough yeah this aether gust is going to be like the only reason we might might be able to to survive here um i think I think if I'm going to Aether Gust here, I want to do it on their upkeep. Yeah, big brain for them 100%. I mean, that is the kind of thing you should know if you're playing that deck, but good for them for doing it. Like, because y'all know me. I, I do not do those things all the time. Don't have the spell pierce. Please, for the love of... Oh, we're so dead. Yeah, okay. Uh, can I actually not beat that? Yeah, I, I actually can't beat that. Cool. So he died in like 30 seconds. Nice. I was going to say that we should have mulliganed to more... Um, okay, so let's get this other spell snare back in. Um, I was saying... We, I was going to say we should have mulliganed to more... To a force. But it wouldn't have mattered. They played around it. I guess we could have forced that spell pierce, but then we might not have the Aether Gust. So, okay, this is like the best possible hand against them trying to do nonsense. So, 
The shock from not playing in the 03 bracket is real. What? I think there are players like this in the 03 bracket, probably. Although, I have been running into this blue red as foretold deck a bunch. Which is slightly surprising, considering, considering what it is. Okay. Do we slam counterbalance here because we have force of negation? And if they want to play around the force of negation, they're going to wait till my next turn, at which point I'll have counterbalance Omen of the Sea? I think so. I think I said all the right words in the right sequence there. Force me, baby. Nope. Got him. Got him! Do it. Do it. I frickin' dare you. I friggin' dare you. Play as foretold. I'm so friggin' ready. Oh, let's see if we have a three drop on top. Ah, oh, polluted delta. Wait. So I could let this resolve, and then they can't play a zero drop right now? Roy, yes or no? Do we let the as foretold resolve with a zero drop on top? Come on. You know what I want to hear. You know what I want to hear. Don't let it resolve. Damn it! I don't want a two for one myself. My hand is gas. It's hilarious, but wrong. I'm not here to be right. Resolves. We're going down the darkest timeline, my friend. Uh, I want my third island in play now. And we're going to pass the turn. Feel free to tune out if I've caused you to lose all faith in humanity, but... Okay, this is great, because this kind of gives me a free look at the top. It's a logic knot, so that's, that's on uh, two. But what they don't know is I have a whole bunch of sh I can play right now. I'm not tuning out yet, thank goodness. <laughs> kind of like walking past an eyes accident but not being able to take your eyes off of it. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's the thing sometimes. Okay, so I can omen here, and then I can force afterwards if the omen whiffs. Okay, bottom, bottom. Oof, all right. Uh, actually, that's a perfect thing to pitch. Yes. Opt on top, ooh. The whiff. All right, here we go. Whew. Oh, 100% would not have done that in a good tournament, in a real tournament. No, definitely not. I, I will tell you flat out, that was a bad choice, and I made it. And it was everything I wanted in life and more. And I would make it again. I would do it again. I am having 20 times more fun having let this as foretold resolve and just hanging out with this gun on, gun pointed at my head. It's uh, it's pretty neat. X equals three. X equals three. Crater Gargadon is not the thing. Stop it. So I think put force on top. Play opt, snap opt. Hmm. 
You gonna kill my Snapcaster? Bolt. I don't know what's on top of my deck. Uh, resolves. Cryptic Command. All right, you can kill my clock. But I'll take my two for one. I'll take it with pride. Why did they? Why do they have a red in their pool? Oh, they they added the mana and then cast it with as foretold because they forgot that they could do that. I can't honestly give you poor advice if you're actually asking for a serious answer. Well, no, I mean, I was asking for a real answer at first, and then I realized, like, I'm just in on the fun for now. Magic's meant to be fun. Let's go have fun. Second as for Nope, something with red. Blood Moon? Huh. Uh, well, let's see if we just balance it at random. Wait, no, I already revealed the top, right? And it was... No, I drew with Opt since then. All right, so let's see what's on top. Omen of the Sea. So I could opt into Omen and then Omen to beat this? Oh, no, I can't do that. Probably just casting Force of Negation. And then they could as foretold, huh? Huh, I've really screwed myself over a little bit here. Whoops. All right. Well, let's let's pray a little bit, huh? Uh, I don't think there's a better way to do this. There isn't. Huh. All right. Am I letting that resolve? I really, I can't. I cannot let this resolve. The fact that they cast it means they, they have a zero here. And we... Oh. But I drew the Omen of the Sea, so let's get lucky now. Now we're lucky? Nope, never lucky. 0% chance for for luck. We have a reasonable number of islands in this deck, so let's start drawing them. Snap is kind of like an island. So we've got Omen to scry to one time. Jace the Mind Sculptor on top. Wow. Can't even counter an opt. Although I guess an opt is one of the least important things to counter. Okay, we're gonna omen before this because we know Jace is on top. I guess I could play the one in my hand. If I have to bottom Jace, that's fine. I can draw the Jace and leave the yeah. Okay, I see what's up. Just looking for a land in the top three. I'd like there to be a land in the top three. There is. Okay, so top the island, top the Jace, draw the Jace, reveal the island, finally get value off my omen. Yes, please. Boom, shakalaka laka. Boom, shakalaka laka laka. And guess what? It's the island that's going to let me play the Jace. 
Oh, it's fabulous. Oh, I love that mind sculptor. I'll tell you what else he's been sculpting. It's not his mind. It was never his, the, your mind that people were interested in, Jace. Now the question is, do I jam Jace here or do I wait for, wait for the next turn? Cause we can snap opt EOT for full value. So I think we'll wait. Oko sculpts abs, that's true. Oko the ab sculptor. Man, their as foretold is going to get so big that they're going to be able to cast a Gargadon with it. That's kind of sick. Fun fact to notice about this game, because they haven't drawn any yet, but they have Fiery Islets in their deck, and they're turned off by Blood Moon right now. So, So X equals one, so the CMC here is three. So let's use Omen. Try to find a three. Ooh. Wait, but they're gonna play a one and a zero? The opt is fine. So let's just put the light uh, the island on top, lightning bolt on the bottom of my deck. Lightning bolt on the bottom is fine. Island on the top, that'll counter the Crashing Footfalls, and then we can let them draw a single card. So they kind of drew a single card for a whole bunch of mana. Oops, wasn't supposed to reveal the island to that, but that's okay. Crap, which means they're not going to play the Crashing Footfalls into it. Well, they probably will. I don't know if they... I don't know if they can choose not to. Huh. Yeah, you may. Shoot. Oh, they did anyway. Good. Good, honest. Oh, that's weird the way that stacked, but okay. Deck are bugged. What? My deck are bugged. How? Second as foretold. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Cannot cast finale with foretold. Uh... Is that a thing you can do? You can cast it for zero. But I don't... Not sure. Not sure on that one. This means I can't omen this turn, so I have to choose carefully with my Jace on what converted mana cost I would like to be on top. I think it's three or zero. Pretty sure it should be zero. Oh, omen is perfect, actually. So... Let's put a three under a zero. Maybe a one under a zero. No, I can play the spell snare. Let's put a three under a zero. Okay, cool. I would like to thank my opponent for this super, super sweet game of Magic the Other Game. I, I don't... You should be able to cast... Um, Finale of Promise with As Foretold. I can't imagine why you wouldn't be able to. So. If you choose the X 
and then the converted mana cost is less than or equal to the number of of counters. Hey, look, the zero I set on top is perfect. Boosh. Wait, da da. Okay, game should be over now. Oh, we can put the Blood Moon away when we want to. Neat. Um, do I want this land this turn, or would I rather have a zero on top? I'd rather have the zero on top. Okay, pass turn. I mean, I guess we could have beat the Blood Moon with Cryptic anyway, but... I guess Aethergust could be really good against the Gargadon when we get there. Hey, Roy, we won the game even though I didn't counter that as foretold. I mean, we haven't actually won yet, but I think we're going to. This Gargadon's on five, though. <laughs> oh, Lord, he coming. He's a hefty lad. This boy eats his oats. Look at him. He's so big. I'll try. Do I want to gust? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Wait, I know it's on top. It's a three. Why is that x equals two? Doesn't matter. What are they? They're shooting my Jace for two. Shooting my Jace for two? Yeah, okay. Okay, Archmage's Charm is on top, just like I remember. Resolves. Would you like to play something else? No? Interesting. Okay. Now we'll Aether Gust your Blood Moon. Okay, Jace. Uh, Jace and put a zero on top. Yeah, zero on top. Scalding Tarn. Attack for two. He works hard for the money. Do 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 do. So hard for it, honey. Go, Tiago Chan. Go. Hit them with your little hammer, just yonk. M Goose, yeah, yonk, yonk, and Snapcaster. I have a zero on top of my deck right now. Oh, they're trying to kill Jace. I see. So I'm going to draw two and then reset my charm. Yeah. Bye, friend. Boop. Game over. User wins. Oh, actually it was. Hilarious. Monster kill. Well, that was a little loud. My apologies to anyone I spooked with that one. One human in particular.
Yep, I was wrong. I'm glad you chose the correct line and got rewarded. That is not what happened, Roy. What? Oh, I can. Uh, there's just a blanket volume here. Okay, good. Stay a while and listen. That's probably a little quiet now. Okay, I'm going to keep this in the dark. We're against a Urion deck? Yeah, this should be fine. It was definitely fun to watch. Yeah, see? It's for the viewers. It's for the viewers at home, Roy. Ketria Triome. Okay. Damn goose. Yonk yonk. Uh, I'm not gonna sack here for two reasons. One, I didn't want to reduce the number of lands in my deck, and two, if I sack there, they could uh, tap while I don't have a land in play, and I wouldn't have the spell snare, which I'm gonna want right here. For that boy. This does mean I'm a little light on interaction on turn three here, but I think against team or control, we should be okay. That's a good reference, dude. This is Uro. Uro's fine. I'm fine. What are you coming out of me? Back to back five O's with real decks. I mean, Kel Surprise, right? You are you are a better player than I, my friend. And when I do play quote unquote real decks, I usually play the um, so the Urian piles, the sort of value piles. Uh, I gotta tell you, man, I did not counter my opponents as foretold last game uh, when I could have played Force of Negation to do so, and it was everything that I could have. Lurus Burn almost got the 5 0, 10 0, but lost game two. Okay, well, that's a shame. You lost a game. Do I want to reset Electrolyze or Spell Snare? No, I'm good. Do I want to slam my Jace? No, I'm good. Just gotta hit, keep hitting land drops here, and you're a monster for playing Luris Burn, by the way. Hashtag unsubscribed. I I want to bolt them, but I don't. Nah, I, I'm I'm supposed to bolt them here. I'm not gonna reset it, but I I do want to bolt them so that if I draw a Snapcaster Mage, I can start going to. Going to town on them. With his little hammer. It's hammer time! Oh, Xanon actually plays Hearthstone, so you might get the fact that I'm referencing Warcraft, which is the property on which Hearthstone is is built. No! Ah, it's one of the best cards in their deck! It makes the Sky Snake so good! No! I prophesied this on an episode of Faithless Brewing. My opponent is beating me on the variants. No. No. Okay, that, that's a sick draw. Okay, good. Now we have stuff to do. I had to get the O3 with the fish from three people disrespecting Vern. What? I don't understand. Okay, so I would like to draw two. What if I could draw two? Really? Hold on now, I'm gonna do it again. Hold on now, I'm gonna do it again. All right.
Do I want to omen here for lands? I do, but I should not. Can EOT it anyway. Oh, I can do the cracked voice anytime you want, bud. You got the got to get the wheezy old man sort of go in it as well. Ah, uh, that's a little okay. We've electrolyzed, so we're gonna be okay. It was in the year of nineteen seventy-seven, I believe it was. I used to be able to get more of the whistle in there too. Seventy-seven. Uh, I apologize to anyone's ears who were bothered by that. I, I know it would have bothered mine. Um, do I want to go in on a big logic dot here for five? That's most of my yard, but barely any of the spells that I'm... I can hear your dentures. Mostly not spells that I need right now. They, they don't have a land to pick up. Yeah, this is fine, right? Without a land to pick up. I wish I had a Snapcaster here, because then I could just snap Spell Snare. Okay, they have no land to pick up here. They haven't played a land yet this turn. All right, let, let's... I would prefer not. Five? Yeah, cool. I am aggressively fighting them over card advantage that I can't um, sort of deal with. They know I have Archmage's Charm in hand. They are unlikely to hit me with Cryptic here. They hit me with something like Remand, that would be pretty annoying. No? Okay. Would you like to attack me, sir? Very well. Shall see you on the battlefield. It's electric. Cool. Great pickup. Oh, that's that's the big boy. Boosh! Get that boy in there. Come on. Come on. You've been saving something in the tank. What is it? I gotta know. I gotta know. Cryptic. Alright. If they also have... If they also have the force, they can win this fight. They do not. Cool. And I've got Omen for next turn. They can definitely resolve Urian here. But I think that's fine. I've got Omen that could deal with most other cards in their deck. Fetch land gets them Uro, probably, but we could fight it by casting Omen. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, did I just die? Maybe I just died. I mean, I could have another Cryptic on top of my deck right now. Um. Boy, I sure hope so. Uh, uh, bottom, bottom. Okay. Trigger. Oh, we got him. Oh my God, we flipped the Jace. We blind cut the Jace. <laughs> Magic is great. Oh my God. Oh, that was sick. Oh, that was sick. Archmage's charm on top. Okay. We're going for that 5 -oh, Roy. We're going for the 5 -oh. All right. Going to wait one more turn. Three drop on top of the deck is really good right now because they have um, Uro ready to escape. So three drop on top is fine. We still have Omen of the Sea to Jigger. Jigger the top of our library if we need to. Mystic Sanctuary. They're picking up the shift. They are picking up Cryptic instead. Sure. I could play that. Okay. Up. I would like to draw a card. Yes, this one is fine. 
I would like to draw two cards. What say you, opponent? You have a choice to make. This is most difficult for you. I can tell. Really? Cryptic command? I mean, that's fair. All right, what does counterbalance say? Counterbalance says no again. Cryptic was on top. Brutal. Brutal. Two blind flips in a row. Um... Let's bounce one of their lands, because I have three cryptics in my hand. Boop. Scalding turns insane, because it gets my third Mystic Sanctuary. Let's play Jace. Boosh. I'm gonna brainstorm because I have another Jace in my hand. I don't actually want to get rid of the other Jace, and we're gonna put the Jace on top because the um, they have scape shifts that they want to kill me with. But I, I think this is locked up, so we're gonna start plussing Jace here probably. I don't know what to say. This deck wants to five zero and it wants it bad? Question mark. I guess. Abundant growth. No, I know the top card in my deck. I'm not revealing it. Nope, that's fine. Resolves. You can spin your wheels all you want, friend. Spin away. Twirling, twirling, twirling toward freedom. Yep. Ketria Triome. Stop. Wait, is this arrow? Probably just logic, not the arrow. Yeah. Uh, I could reset Archmage's Charm, but that would use my last um, Mystic Sanctuary. So contrary to a point I made before, instead of using Mystic Sanctuary here, we're just gonna logic, not X2. Might be concession logic not. Cause we want we want the scalding tarn on deck. Um, okay, we're gonna we're gonna Jace brainstorm one more turn. Cause I wanna get rid of this Jace. So we'll put land Jace on top. We have a second fetch land, so this can just shuffle. And then next turn we will uh, start um, fate sealing them for the win so they still have Orion in the tank but we we're good against that you're totally fine escape shift i know the top card in my library i set a four there again yes please Ooh. game day buck go boom that's the same jace friend it's the same jace i just i thought you ought to know mm. Draw. Fate seal. Growth spiral. Uh, that's fine. You're gonna plug your stream after this match. I mean, I feel like I'm plugging my stream every second. Why? Oh, you mean to my opponent? No. No. Not unless we start chatting. I said, hey there, good, good luck, have fun. They said, thanks, you too. And that's, that's probably gonna be the end of it. Uh, I don't know what the top, top card of my library is right now. Let's see. What's going on, library? What are you up to? Opt and Serum Visions, eh? Uh, yeah, Opt is kind of okay on top. Now let's bottom the Steam Vents, leave the Opt on top. And then we'll let this Grow Spiral resolve. Nope. 
They spent their mana to spin their wheels. I spent my mana to spin my wheels. <laughs> Gross spiral again. Okay. Nope. That's fine. You need to start making decisions a little more briskly. They are at 11, so I would like to pick up a snap and just bolt them out of here. wonder if I can dig to one with an omen. Omen of the sea. Omen of the sea. Omen of the sea. Dee do 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 I wanted an excuse to play some of these omens. Counterbalance opt. Those do not help. Bottom. Bottom. Do I still have a spell to counter that that I can cast? Uh, no. So we're going to omen again, and then if we miss, we'll use our last um, Archmage's Charm. Yeah, I guess we're, we're going to put the Archmage's Charm on top. So top... Top, draw the Snapcaster. We're going to fetch the last Mystic Sanctuary. Now, we can reset one of these um, by uh, using um, a Cryptic. Yes. Okay. No Uro for you. And now we get to go Snap Bolt. And actually, we'll take them out of the game pretty quickly here. Pivot. Do 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 clock spinning. That's that's what we're doing. All right. With that in mind, let's use Jace and let's put a cryptic on to. Oh my God! Did they just die? They just died. Never mind. Uh, counterbalance charm. Charms on top. So if they have force of negation, we beat that here. And we bolt snap bolt. Cool. There's F6 anyway. Yeah. Cool. Got him. Got him. <laughs> I love that clock spinning is a friggin' black bordered card. Okay, so Relic and Ashiok seem good. Lightning Bolt seems bad, generally. Obviously, it's fine there. And Aether Gust. I don't think I want Flusterstorm or Disdainful Stroke. It's going Mono Blue Control again. I feel like I'm supposed to keep some amount of red spells in here. That's probably wrong, though. Logic Knot out for Flusterstorm, maybe? Or Disdainful Stroke? No, I think Logic Knot is fine. I think this is good. I want to kind of get speedier here in game this second, but... Uh... Oops, that's not what I wanted. Whoop! Uh... Yeah, this is okay against that deck. Obviously, I'd like to draw some more playable early game spells, but this will be fine. Just slow roll. Slow ride. Take it easy. All right. Uh, yeah, I think I want to off early. Well, I want to have the option. 
I want the one blue untapped. Turn to Haymaker. Uh, yeah, more land drops are probably fine. Oh no. Oh no, they're they're rolling over there. Ooh. Land drop into Astrolabe or Abundant Growth, please. Please, now. Okay, good. Okay. Can snap opt at their end step if I need to. Did not fetch. Interesting. Snap. Remand, you jerk. Pompous jerk. I like that one. That is a nice boulder. I like that boulder. Next turn I have next turn I have charm logic knot up, which is pretty okay. <clears throat> they shocked it? Oh that must be a gross spiral. Oh maybe not. What do you have on three? Or are you double fetching before you grow spiral? Ah, I see. And you want your remand back. Yeah, well, you're going to get it. Can't stop that one. So we're going to need double counter when they hit their scape shift turn. Oh, which is now? Oh, no. Ah, uh, that might be a little too fast for me. Oh, my God. Chill out, dude. Sheesh. I'm getting snaked to death. No. Boop. Ah, my nose. So they have the remand. I can make them pay three more. They remand it. And then where am I? I don't I don't have any way to like discard a card here. So I guess Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna get sick sick value here. If I had spell snare up in this exact hand, it would be great. Did I keep them? I did. I probably want Flusterstorm next game. Mystical Dispute. Oh, that's just rude. You didn't even show me that one before. All right. Okay, go draw your cards. Oh, that's so big. The frickin' 4-5 over there. Do I want that Archmage's Charm back? I, uh, no... Yes, I, I can't. I don't even know anymore. Jeez. Ooh. 
What up, Trip Six? I mean, uh, I picked this list up off of Jacob Comiskey's Twitter. And uh, he got a 5-0 with it. So uh, it looked like a lot more fun to play than the blue-white version. Blue-white version was, was really good the first time I played it. The second time I played it, which was the one I played it on stream, was like super brutal and punishing. And I, I just didn't have a lot of fun. So I... But this version looked a lot more fun. So hopped into it. Opponent had a really good sequence on the play here all the way up to turn five where they had seven mana. So they just demolished me. They've got a remand in their hand now too. Seems fun. It is fun. It's very, if you haven't ever cast Cat in Rebalance before, let me tell you, it is a friggin' time. You can't counter it if I don't let you. Okay, good. Spell snare. Why are you so late? I'll draw it. Hmm. Okay. So put our major charm on top. Play counterbalance. Assume this is somehow relevant. This is my face that says I'm assuming this is somehow relevant. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Okay, okay, cryptic command, yeah, okay. okay to that's totally, yeah, that can really definitely completely beat that. What if I logic not? No, I can't do that. But I can Archimedes Charm and Spell Snare any 2 CMC spell. Okay, cool. Okay. So we're going to 2. And we're tapped out against the Scape Shift deck. But I have a 3 CMC spell on top that will beat their Uro. So we got that going for us. Which is all right. Oh no! Oh no! Putting remand on top? Sure. Hmm. Are they gonna draw it and then scape shift and kill me? What is about to happen? Oh no! Yeah, we're, we're, we're done here. Can't beat this. I wonder if I want the Electrolyzes in here. This is a really weird matchup to board for. Because they've got this fair grindy plan, but they're also a combo deck. Like, Relic seems weird. I don't even know if I want it. Ashiok is like A++++, but I don't know about Relic. Um, and I feel like I want these Electrolyzes for in case they get their snakes to resolve, but, like, that's what I'm keeping the Spell Snares for. And spell Snare doubles against the Remand. Disdainful Stroke can fight... No, no, Fl Flusterstorm is best against most of the things I want Disdainful Stroke for. Obviously not Orion, but everything else. All right. All right, mono blue with red lands. Let's go. Three Jaces and one Ashiok. That's all I need, baby. That's all I need. Yep, snap it off. 
Opt counterbalance. Let's go. Let's go. Not beating this one, nerd. Probably, probably. Probably beat this. Tabland, sick. Do you even play Force of Negation? Steam Nuts. Uh, yeah, that's fine. You know, I wish that I had known that that polluted delta was underneath, because you know. That makes the whole thing a lot less exciting. All right, play a zero drop. Play something that costs zero, because I know there's a land on top. I can feel it in my jimmies. <laughs> let's go! Roy likes the let's go. Stomping ground, okay. Stomping ground into nothing? Oh, that's, that's just gravy. Super. Uh, yeah. I would like an island. In my jimmies. I was wondering if that would get any kind of response. That was a jimmy. I'll tell you when you're older, bud. I'll tell you when you're older. The hell is a jimmy? That's great. God bless Roy. You wonderful human. Snappy. One snappy lad. One snappy dresser. Lightning bolt. Is it charm? Uh, yep. Good luck, God bless. They're killing my snap? Oh, man. Aw. Ashiok on top. Ashiok on top? But I want to draw that. Crap. But I can't... All right. All right. Shoot. All right. You got him. I guess... Yeah, I, I have to draw, though. Maybe we'll just find the Ashiok again. We'll be fine. Moto Bug's gonna get us good. Give me a like my priority. Thank you. Oh, yeah. No, that's great. That'll do. What are the chances they have force negation? Low? I think low. Chase, do, do, do. It's not what I wanted. Did you, sh why did you, what? Why did you shuffle Ashiok away? Because I didn't want to not cast my opt. Okay, so they're about to be on four mana. So th three and four are by far the best numbers to put on top here. I think I'm putting four on top. Because yeah. they could cryptic to bounce my Jace. Why did you? So I shuffled the Ashiok away because I wanted to draw the card off the opt. I think it was worthwhile. So if they have the cryptic, they can fetch a blue source and do it. If they play Uro here, you know. We're, we're still in a great spot. Ice Fang. Ice Fang's fine, Fang. Yo, Fang, that's fine. Ah, no, 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 no. Mm, okay. Revealed the card on top. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. So they now know the coast is clear. Although I guess when they resolved their two drop, they kind of knew the coast was clear already. So Ice Fang can now hassle my Jace. Top card is currently... Zero CMC, it's a fetch land. I think having literally no way to kill that Ice Fang in my main in my deck now is probably a mistake. It's just so weird. Let's brainstorm. Wow, put one of the infinite cryptics on top? No. Cryptic under Snapcaster. Yeah, and then I can always play something and then reset it. Cool. 
hedging, they'll play another two here. The Ice Fang is so slow against Jace that uh, I'm not super worried about it. Oh, they're playing the Urian. I guess that makes sense. Uh, so I don't have any card in my deck that could stop this, so we're just going to play Charm. They can't beat that. Uh, nope. I want the Snapcaster, so we're going to draw for a turn. Hello, Snappy. I probably should have Cryptic there because it was more mana efficient. Veil of Summer on the top. No. No, I'm good. I, I, I'd, um, <clears throat> I'd prefer not. It's all the same to you. So we've used zero Mystic Sanctuaries here, so we can start being a little more aggressive. So draw that, conceal them, steam vents is fine. So we're going to play the snap at their end step now, maybe, maybe, maybe. No, cycle, sure. Draw your steam vent, friend. Draw it like the wind. Uh, I don't know what the top card is, so flip away. Boop. Logic not. Okay, resolves. The Urian's gone now anyway, so their cantrip permanents are no longer particularly threatening. So I guess maybe I shouldn't have flipped, but getting the free value is probably i think i'm supposed to flip it pretty much any time i can right now just to get see if i can get free value and now they know they're locked out of twos which is pretty good because ice fang um remand etc so we're probably safe to charm end step here i don't think i'm going to snap or anything good draws Oh, Aether Gust is a good out for the Ice Fang. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What's on top? Cavern of Souls. Ah. Uh, I have an Aether Gust in my hand if they play Titan. So, and then we've got Cryptics. So we're in a good shape against that. Okay. Um, do I have a second counterbalance in play? Probably. There you go. You thought one counterbalance was fun. Strap yourself in, friendo. You're about to go for a ride. Gust. Go away, you little nerd. Get out of here. No. Okay. Cool. And now it's on top, and now I can reset Aether Gust. Cool. That's a kind of cool line. Oh, I don't... Yeah, yeah. I know what the top card of their library is, so let's just brainstorm here. Weren't we saving Gust for a Titan? No, we were not. 
I know I kind of made it sound like that. I didn't put any. That was I just put a zero on top because I was talking. Um, but no, we weren't. We weren't actually saving gust for a titan or anything. We we're just. I'm just saying that we have a gust sort of within our realm of things we can do. Uh, they can cavern on snake here. Oh no, nope, giant. Okay, okay. Oh, that's for Uro as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah that makes sense. So are they gonna play the Uro out of their hand with the? Okay. Nope. Okay. Nope. It's cool. We're going to win this game with Fate Seal. So Uro gaining life is not a big deal. So the only time we need to counter it is when it's coming back. So if they cast Ice Fang here, we're going to Aether Gust it, and we're going to, uh, or we're going to flip the Aether Gust on top of my deck before my next draw, because I want it. If they play the Snake, we'll just counter it. Uh, do I want to snap Archmage's Charm here? Probably. Just keep pouring on pressure. Pour some pressure on me. Ooh, in the name of love. Remand it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. You don't remember what the top card of my library is. Could be anything. Could even be a boat. Cryptic. Oh, no, I can't cast the Archmage's Charm. It's okay, I didn't want to do that anyway. thought I wanted to cast that spell? Nah, this is just a beat stick. Sorry, I meant beef stick. You seen Tiago chan He's a beefy boy. So the Aether Gust is in my hand now. So... Top card of Library Unknown. Want to save the Gust for the Uro. Would like to know that there was a 2 on top of my Library, but... Beat stick. Yeah. Put snow covered island on the bottom. No, no, that's that's fine where it is. Okay, so if they play Quaddle here, we're gonna counter it? Yeah, with logic knot. Cool. And then if they play Uro, we're gonna Aether Gust it. Mystic Sanctuary. Put Is it Charm on top? Sure. If you are killing my Snapcaster Mage, that's I'm okay with that. You go nuts. Live your best life, opponent. Live your best life. Me? I want to chase you out of this game. I'm sculpting your mind. <laughs> Gotta get that Vincent Vincent price value in here. Is it charm? I don't know what's on top of my library. Let's find out. Island. Hmm. All right. You got him. Snapcaster down. Pew. We could have been playing. Realm cloaked giant. Yo, you right. <laughs> Card is gas. So 
let's just put cryptic on top. It's probably one of the best overall things to have. Yes. Keep fate sitting. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim, swim. So I have a cryptic on top of my library right now. We shuffled, devious bastard. Get back the is it charm. What are you doing? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Roy, I'm a little confused. I'm confused and aroused. Casts Veil of Summer. Uh, no. Uh, do I want to count? I bet I want to counter this. So I know they have Is It Charm. They played the Veil. I have Aether Gust. So. It's cool. I think we can beat, I think we can beat everything, but I don't really want to risk Veil of Summer resolving. That seems like a really, really bad idea. Okay, so here comes the Cryptic. The Cryptic's going to get beat by my Cryptic that they know about. Bang. No, I'm good. Okay. Yay, Cryptic. Get beat by Counterbalance that you knew the... Okay, I guess it's a hard, this deck is harder to play against uh, online than it would be in paper, so I, I understand that. Are they playing the Uro without the Cavern? No. Why would you do that? No? Why would you do this? Do you have another Veil? It's not going to win here. I can beat you. You can't even play Veil with this. What are you doing? Puts it on the bottom. Yeah, I guess. I eh, just, okay. Veil on top again. Um. Ooh. Can they Veil a Jaysalt? Yes, they can. Okay. So, when I want to win with Jace... Make sure I can counter it. Got it. Don't lose to Veil. <laughs> They're Veiling again. Uh, we're going to Cryptic this. Uh, I don't know what's on top of my deck. Reveal. Steam Vent. Womp womp. Okay. Um, yeah, let's counterbalance. Or, I'm um, sorry. Cryptic Command. Skadoosh. They can veil our alt. I'm glad you're aware. I am too. I, uh, that would be a really bad way to lose this game and match. Nope. Thoroughly enjoy the OEA to oh no. Counterbalance. Uh, throw a cryptic on top. Seems fine. They have one card left in hand. I don't know how it beats this. I guess I'm about to find out. I have a huge Logic Knot available, followed by a Flusterstorm. So, yeah. Cryptic. Yes. Okay. Yes. Trigger. Got him. Okay, they've got one more card in hand. They... Yes. Oh, they couldn't cast anything because I had counterbalance on the stack. Okay. You have one card in hand. It could be Veil. It could be Veil. 
Okay, you've got one card in the library. Cool. Okay, go. Game's all yours. Do whatever you want. You got this. Yay! Two, oh, two, oh. Cruising along here. Nexus of Fate. <laughs> oh, we're against Caleb Derwin. I think that's what Caleb Durward's actual name is online. It's void of any text. Oh, uh, chat box. Thank you. You could have told me during the match. It would have been fine. And it's one click. Okay, keeping this. Mulligan's the six. All right. Are they on Lurus? They're on Urion. We just beat the Urion deck. I ain't even need streamer showdown. Yeah. Well, one streamer and a me. Why is the text not showing up in the chat box? Oh, there it is. Okay. Panel still void. No, it, it, it's uh, it's coming up now. I don't know why that took time, but it did. Uh, oh, I'm on the play. Sick. Steam bed. Nope. Pass turn. Yeah, I don't know why it's back, but it's back. Temple Guard. Skirt, Tribe Scout. <gasps> Oh, he's playing Lawson's deck. Okay. Okay, so we're against Winota Rider. Okay, okay, okay. We know what's up. Okay. I, Ten bucks says he's playing Lawson's deck. I put my money on the line. Sure, you got it. Season Pyro? Season Pyro? Because we got a blind flip a three drop. We got a blind flip a three drop right here. Or pick up an electrolyze, I guess. Teferi. Okay. Boom. Ha ha ha. Game day bucket go. Boom. Blind flip the three drop. Just do it, man. Just do it. Just do it, man. <laughs> Fateful show there. Bro, you're funny. They know I have the Archmage's Charm, so I fetched it up. Okay, what do you got? Ren and Six? Uh, blind Flip? Electrolyze. Yeah, okay, we'll counter that. Play one toughness creatures. Do it. Do it now. Astrolabe. Uh, Electrolyze will not counter that. But I'll try. Damn. God, it's that same Electrolyze. Unbelievable. <laughs> One toughest creature? Ah, it's so many Astrolabes. No. Okay. Too many labes, too many labes. Too many labes, too many labes. If you're unaware of the Too Many Cooks YouTube video, which I believe is an Adult Swim production, Roy, you uh, you need to get you some education. Ooh, 
Uh, I don't know the top card, so... Blind Flip. Island. Womp womp. Do I have to counter this? They have a fetch land in their bin. I think I probably let this one resolve, because the chance of really bad things happening to me here... Astrolite. I had not... I think bad things could happen to me if I let this resolve. Uh, if I... Sorry, if I... Uh... If I counter this, I think we got to let this one go. I guess letting them get a mana advantage is like kind of bad, but I get to Archmage's trying to draw two, which means I can probably prioritize dealing with like relevant spells. Yeah. Uh, top card of my library is Island right now, but Electrolyze. Okay. Blind flip. Yes! Opt. Got him. Plays nothing to retrace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the, the Lost and Zendy special is always, it's always that setup. Ran in six with nothing to do with it. Okay. Try an arbor. Does that mean they have Winota in their hand? If so, that's fine. Huh, that's a bit of a, it's a bit of a noodle scratcher. Yeah, cool. Um, I could cryptic bounce the Renin six and then reset the cryptic on top of my library here. Is that in any way worth doing? Should I just see if I get the blind flip? See if we get the blind flip. Yeah. Flip. Omen of the sea. Okay, fair enough. Uh, cryptic counter draw. He could retrace force of negation. Yeah, I mean. Actually, do I just leave my fetch land in play now? I think I do. that allows me to put down the second counterbalance and then have insane amounts of control over this game if i play the second counterbalance can i cast this archmage's charm yes i can so let's do it two counterbalance how you gonna beat that how you going to beat that second dryad arbor you'll never do it I think they might be playing your eye on this turn. <laughs> Tax for one. Okay. I I will take it. That card. That's a card. Four. No, you gotta be playing your eye in here, right? Okay, um, flip, no, snapcaster, um, flip, no, okay, fetch, uh, mystic sanctuary, put archmage's charm on top, You have abundant growth or something? Mm. Support tribe scout. Nope. Nope. 
They are well set up for a Winota. Uh, I'm well set up for an Electrolyze. But I don't. Yeah, I'll do that end step. We're not gonna. Not gonna be ambitious. Oh, then the Snap will beat up the Renin Six too. So that'll be nice. Yep. Huh. They want to secure tribe the land? Why? They want to defend the Renin Six? Maybe. Snap. One snappy dresser. Electrolyze. Hey, I'm at the corner of 4th and Main, and I think I've just witnessed a murder. Okay. Yep. Bonk. I love I love the idea of it being like the inflatable mallet. Just get out of here, you. <laughs> How do you get the emote? How do you have to how do you have to type it b dot o dot p dot? No, it's just all caps. Okay. Oh, my snapcaster. Damn it. I definitely completely totally needed him to win. Winota. Okay. Um so blind flip. Scalding term. Okay. Omen. Omen and Tarn. Bottom the tarn, top the omen. Uh, if I omen again, I can't counter it. So, oh, we can blind flip again. Blind flip. Opt. Okay. Counter. Jesus. Bottom. Hey, there we go. Hey, there we go. Right, let's put Archmage of Charm on top. Because that's gas, 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 gas. Yes. How's it doing, Haunter Hunter? Have you been catching any ghostlies? Oh no, Roy, it's back. That card. It's back. All right, so draw. Yes. Draw two. There is the Jace. Okay. Uh, cool. Do they have ways to kill my Jace? Let's find out. So we're going to brainstorm. They can knock it down by two. I think that's okay. We're going to put a two drop on top. And we also have cryptic. And the two drop on top we're going to put is omen. Okay. All seems fine. Oh, that's adorable. I'm sure Pokemon going together wherever one goes when they Pokemon go is, is probably great. I also appreciate that the phrase going together is hilarious. Okay. Misty. Okay. Can I snap anything relevant here? I guess I just snap opt. It's your favorite Pokemon. Not Pokemon Go. No, no, no. I, I knew the... I knew the, the one you were talking about. Uh, Oratosh Mage. Put it on the bottom. Yeah. 
No, no, no. I, I know, I know, I know, I know the game you're talking about. I just phrased it in a way where it sounded like that other game that actually does exist. Um, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Opponent is at 10 from all the Ren and Six fetching, so if I find a Bolt, we can really put the hurt on them, like, hilariously fast. Yep, he's at 1 again. Okay, um... Omen? Omen. Uh, yeah. Just looking for Bolt or another Electrolyze. Another Counterbalance. I mean... Needs more Thunderous Wrath IMO. Put Winota Joiner of Forces on the bottom. Yeah. I don't think I want to have to spend my Counter Magic. Once they're at 8, the bolt snap bolt becomes a lot more relevant. Although, worth noting, we need another red mana. They shuffle anyway. So. Arboreal Grazer. Blind flip! No, that can resolve. Was on top, Pluto Delta? Pluto Delta is a good draw. I want that. There's dumping more creatures into play for uh, Winota. Um, no, that's fine. I still want the Delta. You can you can draw a card. Steal the dry head. <laughs> you crazy kids. Damn, <laughs> useless. Coiling Oracle. Um, can I change the top card? Yeah. Let's see. See if I can find a two drop in the top two. Nope. <laughs> uh, top. Top. Okay, you can have an Oracle. Results. Trigger. Do I want to tap their team? No, because I can't play Snapcaster afterwards. That'll be next turn. Actually, next turn will be perfect, too. For a bunch of reasons. Ping Jace? They ping Jace... No, because I can't... Uh, they're, they're, they have untapped creatures. Oh, they're going to uptick the random six here? Shoot, I should have bounced it, maybe. Bounce and then... Force? Yeah, shoot. Could bounce it in a turn, I guess. Yep. So here's my second red. Okay. It's Jace Storm. Because now I can shuffle away two cards I definitely don't want, which are Jace and, uh, oh, I don't know, Jace, I guess? Yeah, seems good. Okay, and we're going to fetch a Steam Vents tapped and Cryptic tap their team, so they won't be able to kill my Jace here. If they play a Winota pre-combat, we'll counter that and um, counter that and tap their team. They have no way to force through Winota. We, they do have Teferis, but I've been holding Force of Negation, so I should be okay against that. They go to combat. Okay, let's bounce my thing and tap all their creatures. Whoop. Bye, 
friends. Sure. Or a touched mage. That's adorable. Uh, well, I can't counterbalance it. Uh, let's fetch a steam vents. Uh, that's going to get Colossification and be huge. That's okay. They're what I like to call locked out of the game. To get technical about it, which I... I uh, maybe should have shocked there. Because... Okay, so... This is cryptic. Yeah. Okay. So fate seal you. Agent of treachery. Uh, on the bottom. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's cryptic. Or sorry, let's mystic sanctuary. Put the cryptic on top because I have one in my hand. Yes. I have a cryptic on top, so this one can just tap their team draw. Yeah. Boop. Wee. Okay. Still in this. All right. Uh, now I can Archmage's Charm with this guy. And then crack them for two. Watch them. Is it charm me here? No. Is it the previous opponent? That was the... Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. Just killed them. Got it. Neat. Hey, Roy. We finally turned the corner. Larynx Punchworthy would be so proud. Got him. Got him. Working on that three. Oh. All right. I'll be back in two seconds. We're definitely boarding in this guy. That, that fellow. That friend. We've got the inside scoop on Winota Rider. And according to Lawson, I have been posted in the 5-0 dump playing that deck. So, hello world. Okay. Uh, do I want Aether Gust in this matchup? Seems like it's probably completely nuts. Uh, Anger also seems okay here. Let's cut. Uh, spell Snare. Seems not, not the best. And then force seems not the best. And then stroke. The thing about stroke is it doesn't hit to fairy, although I guess none of this does. 
Spell Snare doesn't. Force does. So I got to watch out for the Teferis and the Ren Sixes. Um, obviously not the Ren Sixes much, but I think Stroke is probably not a good idea. I, I just, I can't tell you exactly why. All their upsides. I mean, yeah. Agent of Treachery and Aura Touched Mage. This is probably not as good as I think it's going to be, right? Because um, Winota works with that. What is up, Leviathan102? We are cooking along here. We're playing against Caleb Durwood, actually, I think. It's Caleb D on in the in the match here. Oh, shit. Uh, we have five seconds. Sorry, friend. Winota is in search. I know. That's why I was like, all right. Almost missed my sideboarding. Woo. It is late. It is late at night. No, I know Winona doesn't search, but Ren 6 and all the fetch lands do. Should have a horizon land. That's fair. Uh, that's a totally fair thing for him to think. Mulligans to 6. Okay, we've got a pretty bang in hand against this deck as long as they don't get turn 3 Winona specifically. So... And we can draw things that will insulate us. Cool. That is not acceleration. They're Horizon Lands. Because not only are they in Modern Horizons, but the first one was called Horizon Canopy. So that's it's double clever. Like, that's... I don't... There, there really shouldn't be an argument about that, but... If if someone wants to have one. Uh, probably should have kept the spell snares in. This is going to be Ren and Six, right? Yeah. Oh, well. Not that I would necessarily have it here, but I think, I think maybe boarding out spell snare was wrong. Okay. Got a whole lot of nothing going on. Canopy Vista is a thing, too. I mean, sure. I don't think anyone calls that cycle the canopy. Is, is that not the Badlands? They didn't have anything on three? Wow. That's, that's a bit of luck. That's a bit of luck right there. Battlelands. Yeah, those are the Battlelands. Okay. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Battle for Zendikar. That makes sense. The BFZ ones. And there, there, there's the Shadowlands, which are the ones before. Yeah. Oh, T Tango Land is way... Neat! Fair enough. That's a quality two-for-one right there. It wasn't on a fetch land, thank God, but... Okay, um, this could be bad. Hopefully they play this game like I would, and they don't slam their awesome haymaker into me. Because if they do, I'm probably going to be really... Well, actually, Winota doesn't do anything on a board with no non-humans. Huh. Fun. Dried Arbor. Sweet. Play other small creatures. Do it. Oh, boy. It's going to become a two-drop? I don't know what the best true drop is. Gaddock Teague? Can they have that? Coiling Oracle. Nice line, question mark. And they pick up the Dryad Arbor. Well, that's pretty cool. I wonder if Lawson's coaching him. <laughs> Wasn't worth main phase fetching. To avoid another Nimble Obstructionist? I suppose. Okay, so now we have an answer for Renin 6. Cryptic will be an answer for the Winota. So, getting slightly in a better spot. I literally didn't think of main phase fetching, so it wasn't that it wasn't worth it. You can safely assume, Roy, that like 
a lot of the plays I make are not because I didn't think it was worthwhile. It's usually just because I straight up didn't notice that I could or that it would be relevant. I think I can get them to commit more. They put it on the bottom. Okay. I think I can get them to commit more to the board before I anger. Because I'm not really afraid right now of Winota or Urian. Certainly not Urian. So they're on eight cards in hand. Obviously, some of that is um, is still land. Their colors are like really weird, but I guess they have a bun and gross, so they're probably fine. <laughs> Give you the benefit of the doubt. No, you don't need to do that. Astral Lake. Crap. No, no, I know they can have Veil. I mean, I don't have the kind of hand where I can play around Veil much. Doesn't shock. Okay. Opt and then Omen, probably. Snap. Yeah, Snap. Aethergust is probably pretty good to have here. Nimble this. Oh, really? Okay, well, uh, I think I want the island. I think I'm in, in market for an island. Still hitting land drops is Gouda. Thing is, they're already on eight cards in hand, so Urian resolving and drawing them four is like, yeah, it's gonna up the quality, but not not really concerned. Okay, we're gonna snap opt here. Sort of get something going. Oh no. Yikes. Do I want the Aether Gust? Yeah. So the reason I'm getting Aether Gust specifically now. So then I can feel like I can play Jace here. And then I can put away this Jace, potentially something else. Perfecto. Just put the opt on top. Opt on top seems fine. Okay. I'm gonna leave my guy on block. Defense! Defense! Nimble is drafting it. So the best thing, quote unquote, that they could do here is play Orion and draw some more cards. Sports ball. <laughs> I love the way that came together. <laughs> Remember, sports ball. Yes, we're moving into the top of turn number eight here in this exciting match full of haymakers between the Caleb Durwood and Shramer Mana Shimbal. Whoa, Doctor, that's a big mamma jamma. Do I have anything I can do about this taking my Jace? It's blue? Do I have to bolt my own Jace here? I do. Hilarious. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. I still have that other Jace on top. I do. Okay. <laughs> oh no, I'm bolting my Jace. Uh, after it targets, after it targets, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. No, in response to thanks, thanks. Yeah, yeah, I already made the stupid play. Yep. All right, yeah, take my snap. I got, I got, I'm good. That's fine. Perfect, beautiful, love it. Whew. No, no, we good, we good. No, it's, it's fine, it's totally... And completely fine, actually. It could have been really bad, and then it wasn't. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. And there's a Jace sitting on top of my deck right now to get me out of this. We Gucci. 
It did. <laughs> the real friends were the ones that didn't matter all along. Wait, hold on. Whatever. It's all good. Just don't make me fetch. Actually, I could opt first. I cannot opt first and play Cryptic. All right. So we're going to put Bolt on top, I think. Remember, we can't beat Vale right now. We just do not have the resources. But I think not countering this would also be a mistake. So, Or not trying here would be a mistake. So we get Veiled, we get Veiled. We didn't get Veiled. Cool. 80 card deck, didn't draw the Veil. Kel Surprise. Cool. So we don't have anything going for us, but neither do they. They're up one land. That's it at this point. And one card in hand. Uh, no. No extra value. What if they drew a veil with their abundant growth? They would never they can never play the veil. They can never play that veil from here on out. Because I would be able to ask them if they drew it on that specific turn. And they couldn't tell me, because if they had, that would just be the worst, most shameful. Okay, good. They have four cards in hand that they're just holding on to. Like I don't know what is going on over there, but it is. Wavy gravy. Uh, I don't want that right now. I also don't want that right now. Yikes. Okay. Ah, yeah, I mean, we did it once. Well, they didn't do anything after they tried to play a Corling Oracle last turn, so, like, I, I don't know what they have in their hand right now, but... Aura Touch Mage? They would play the Aura Touch Mage, wouldn't they? Wow. All aces, eh? Uh, yeah, we're good on mana. I can almost burn them out of this game right here. Okay. Let's blind counterbalance. Ooh, ha. Spin, two, win. Polluted Delta on top. Rats. You got me. Draw a card. I'm not saying they have Overtouch Mage. Okay. Ren and six. Shoot. <laughs> uh, so I definitely don't have a two on top. But I also don't care again, so... No, that's fine. You may have a Ren and six. when you'd have to bolt it um, before they search. Yeah. Yeah, it's before they search. Trigger on the stack. So similar to Storm Herald, it gets to, uh, it gets to be good. Eldritch Evolution for four drop. Uh, no. Um, it's got to be Winota, right? So counter target spell, return target for Winota, so understand this, this. We do have an out for Winota if this gets beat. I will still get to bounce my Mystic Sanctuary if there's a Veil. There is a Veil. Uh, I still know the top card of my library, but yeah, it didn't change. Still polluted Delta. Okay, your Veil succeeds. Still get to bounce my Sanctuary. They get their Winota. I kill the Winota with two Lightning Bolts. We move on with our life. Oh. Oh. Huh. 
really? Just keep showing them polluted Delta. Why? Wow, I think it was funny. And having a one on top at any point would have been great. A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. I mean, I guess, but it also kind of feels like they don't know how that deck works because they need non-humans in play and they didn't discard any... Um, they didn't discard anything, so so they didn't they didn't get anything. We get to Mystic Sanctuary Cryptic right now, so this means if they play Winota this turn, it's just countered. So okay, I will take a th hit for three here. <clears throat> They've got themselves down to eleven, and I have three bolts in my hand, so it is possible they're gonna goof themselves out of this game because they do have a fetch land in play right now, and it's. They can Veil Winota. Yeah, they could. Yeah, they could. I can just kill their Sakura Tribe Scout in that case. Like, I'm not up a creek if they do that. Okay, they now officially have enough fetch lands to kill themselves, essentially. They kept the land in their hand. That's that's fair and smart. Delta. Okay, so now we can go end step, bolt, bolt, reset, bolt, and finish this. So. And Veil doesn't beat that. I don't think anything in their deck does, unless they nimble my fetch land or my Mystic Sanctuary trigger. They can put me to three here. Let's see if they elect to do so. Finish him. Oh, I have the sound clip. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Finish him. Yep, they pinged me. Okay, friend. So we're going to go Bolt. Now we're going to fetch and reset it. Go to two. Bolt on top. Bolt. Bolt. Concession? Huh? Uh, I don't have triple kill, so... Kill. I will have to make do with double kill. <laughs> Watch out for sudden sh Who are you, Roy the boy? Hunter, Hunter, you... You're a good human. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, we're on the 3-0. I have a sick name for this deck. Oh, come up with it. Or br bring it on, bring it on. Sorry, I'm tired. What would it be? No justice. You know, somehow... I don't think that's going to stick. Oh, we are against a leaderboard person. Hugo Freitas. All right, I'm not keeping this against that. Yeah, this is fine. Bottom mountain, good to go. Uh, what's your score? 3 0 at 2. Oh, are we against the As Foretold deck again? Ooh. Okay, so this time if we run into okay, they're on four zero. Okay, so I think. I think we leave the Delta up. He's playing for a trophy. I know. I know. Yeah. Now we play this. We're going to jam counterbalance here. Because if they are on the deck that I th think that they are, um, 
if this resolves, we can just get lucky and win. Cool. Giant killer. What's up, Dan? How you doing tonight? Uh, the previous completely amazing bonkers deck did not do so hot. Scalding Tarn on top. Okay, so they can't they can't go off here. They could try. Yeah, good. They're smart enough not to. And now we have Archmage's Charm up. Cool. Um, so we're in an okay spot. Not great, but we do get a free shot at everything that they play. I have Omen of the Sea and Archmage's Charm, so Crashing Footfalls. Sure, take my free shot. Boom! Game day bucket. Take it away, buddy. Counterbalance just slamming the door closed on this match. I had fun talking about me and Lawson's deck. I mean, that was Lawson's deck through and through. All right, I um, I I mean, <laughs> Electro Dominance X one. Ooh, ooh. Uh, let's try. Jace on top. Ooh, ooh. Crashing footfalls. Made ancestral visions. Just visions. Just visions. Just visions. Balance. Balance would be fine too. Discard three. No. We have a Jace on top, so all I need is uh, cool. This is actually totally fine. So we discard Counterbalance, which has no text. Lightning Bolt, which has... Well, Counterbalance was less than good. Lightning Bolt has no text. And I don't want this Mystic Sanctuary right now, but I th think Snap's a better discard. Because then I guaranteed have a land to set there next turn. Oh. Oh, no. Well, I misread that card. Okay, well, now we're in some trouble. I do need to draw... Yeah, yeah, well, trying to play quickly, being on a high. I got wonderful people in my life, so we're going to be fine. It's cool, we're just going to have the zero drop on top again. Lightning bolt, that is not good here. Shoot. Okay. Got mind slavered. Nah. Yeah, kind of. Oh no. What else? Wait, what did I just reveal? God, I'm tired. Lightning bolt. Okay. So, oh no. I can't manipulate at the top of my library at all here. Wow, we're just dead because I screwed up. I, I made the right play in my head, but then yeah. Okay. Okay, I have no way to draw any cards. So if we top deck a land, I could play Jace and bounce one Rhino, but we will die the turn after that. Yup. Wow. Eep. It's cool. We're just going to win the next two. And now we know how that works. It's weird because I swear I've played against that card before in the previous league, and I don't yeah oof all right so gust is maybe okay can't remember if i boarded in last time fluster storm is good bolts out electrolyze out we just go mono blue control we need one more card it's ashiak no we we kept a bolt i think last time Yeah, I guess one Relic's okay. The problem with Relic is it hits my yard, too. So there's going to be spots where, like... Because the only thing they play is the... Um, is the finale. So... I'm not really worried about that if our plan go Or if, if things are going according to plan. I guess the argument would be things rarely go according to plan. Maybe it's better. 
I guess it's probably better than Lightning Bolt. Yeah, just as the one. Although by that same token, did they... They played some number of fetch lands. What's the matchup? We are playing against Hugo Freitas, uh, who is playing blue-red as foretold. You're right. I think Ashiok is probably better than the Relic here. Because uh, they play fetches, right? Yeah, they do. Cave Dan, he knows you by name. Now, you two have never met before, right? Uh, this hand is banging. Cool. Uh, we'll lead on Sanctuary. No. Um, so, <laughs> their deck is so bananas that you... You actually kind of need blue up. We uh, we did get a turn, uh, basically a turn zero loss to this deck um, in one of the sideboarded games in the last match, um, Cave Dan, because they went like land past the turn during your upkeep, Simeon Spirit Guide, Electro Dominance zero. I was like, oh, oh my. Yeah, I guess that's one way you could play that magic card. All right. So if they try to go off on their turn, we can force of negation. And if they try to go off on my turn, I get mana untapped. Um, and counterbalance is a double check against their cheating. Because when they play electro dominance, let's say, or as foretold, I get to flip and see if I hit a three. Which I didn't. Uh, we have Logic not on top. I'm going to Force then. And Logic Knot, I can play with my mana, so I'm going to actually exile one of my Cryptics here to beat their As Foretold. And then hopefully the rest of this will get us through. Because I can't even play that Cryptic yet, so I, I figure let's just ditch it and um, get through this tough period of this game. Counterbalance should be able to pull us ahead. Yeah, this is exactly... Lands costing zero seems broke. No, you know what's broken? The zero mana null spells that they're playing. That's what's broken. They're playing the broken cards. Don't you try to make this deck seem like the bad guy. This deck is not the bad guy. Counterbalance. Flip Island. Boom. Boom, shaka-laka-laka-laka. Get them. Get them. This deck is a blast. The blue-white deck has no idea what it's doing. The blue-white deck is drunk at the wheel trying to play trying to play Terminus in a Supreme Verdict world. And actually, I like the blue-white version, but it's just nowhere near as much fun as this one. Pivoting into mono blue control. Mono blue counterbalance. Don't even need the bolts. How dare you, sir? As a hardcore combo degenerate, I'll have you know my tastes are completely sane. I I I don't know what to tell you, friend. I'll tell you one thing. The snap. The snap's going in. I really wish I had an opt or something. Please, please play something for me to... Jeez, Louise. All right. Here's my Lutri. Naked Otter. One Naked Otter. Just going in, baby. So then I flip it. <sighs> Why? Why you do this? So they do have an uh, Ancestral Visions coming. So if we're able to get it to a point where we can manipulate our top of our library by then, it'll be good. They, they keep hitting no land, though. They're literally discarding to hand size here. So th this, this is how you know my opponent's deck is the unfair deck. They're going to discard to hand size, and they've been doing stuff. Counterbalance to stop Gargadon. Hey, hey, hey. You gotta, you gotta, if you wanna be the new Roy. No, you're not the new Roy. The other guy's the new Roy. Um, but uh, uh, Roy pointed out commit to memory would beat the Gargadon. 
So we've got Archmage's Charm for this end step, which is great. And then we've got Omen to set up my deck to beat their um, their Ancestral Visions. I wonder if they have Spell Pierce or like Is It Charm here. Electro Dominance. They're they're taking the the opening. All right. Flip a Jace. So this is this X zero. X is zero. So I flipped a Jace. Um, so I can let them play the spell and then Flusterstorm it? Yeah, okay. Well, we don't have Commit to Memory. Roy was just pointing out that that is technically a card that would function in this case. Because that's who Roy is. Um, actually... But you, but you, that's the thing is like, someone who wants to be the new Roy, you gotta, you gotta be able to, um, actually me. If you hit, uh, exclamation deck in the chat, or there should be a stream decker widget, there should be, um, then you would be able to, um, see if, uh, if this deck has that. So you do, you do it like a this. Like this. Is this good enough? When they mult a six, yeah. Yeah, turn one Flusterstorm is good enough if they mult a six. Okay. Don't do it. Don't you upkeep me. <sighs> okay, we dodged the first bullet. <laughs> Migrate to the combo lifestyle. You should we meet Larynx Punchworthy. He comes in here and tells me how to uh, become a better burn player by cutting cutting all of the cards that aren't in burn for cards that are in burn. Okay. So I want access to Logic Knot, which this will give me. And then Flusterstorm is great because Flusterstorm allows me to beat uh, Spell Pierce. If I fetch right now in the Electro Dominance, I can beat that with Flusterstorm. So let's fetch. Get a tapped Seam Vance is fine. So you just get an island. Just get an island. Heading to bed. Enjoy the sleep, Dan. For tomorrow, you may die. But, you know, that could happen to anyone any day. So, you know, I'm not, I don't mean anything specific. If you want any burn advice, I played the deck once. Ran it with Floor Reflecting Palm. Etron and Shadow. That's fair. What about Emrakuls, though? You haven't lived until you deflected an Emrakul. They sack their island. That's crazy talk. Dude, you have, like, no lands. What are you, what you doing? Opponent's been drinking. All well said. Oh, well, you know. Some people have called me the poet laureate of my day. I mean, I assume. I've never heard them do it, but... Okay. Um, bottom, top... Hope I draw a different land? Nah, alright. Mystic Sanctuary for no value seems fine here. Okay, they have Ancestral on Suspend, but we have lots of turns... To beat that, I think we got this. This feels pretty good. We just need to not shields down on a random end step like I'm doing now. <gasps> Didn't die? Didn't die. Good. Good. Uh, top, top, draw the steam vents. Draw the... I've palmed an Emrakul. Yep, that's... That's living that Miller high life. Okay, can I Jace here? Counterbalance is the new chalice. It's, it's, yeah, it's better. Can I Jace here? Is Flusterstorm plus Force of Negation good enough? Uh, I 
the sooner we land the Jace, the better. But okay, let's let's wait another turn. We've got a lot of action. Fluster beats the RRX spell, mm. or no? Nah. Yeah, you got time. I think so too. Uh, I'm gonna draw two because I would like to keep hitting land drops. Cool. And that'll reset the Archmage Charm. Let's draw a Counterbalance right now. Damn. Okay, this is fine. Play a Jace, then I pitch a Jace to force a negation on their turn. Yeah, I think. I think the time has come, the walrus said. How badly does this go for me? One more land in play seems much better. Which means, I think I'm discarding the Snapcaster, because just at this moment, it's the most mana intent. No, let's just discard the Jace, I don't need to. Maybe that ends up being a mistake, but I think not. Which means... I shouldn't Jace this turn because I'm going to be fighting over all that crap the next turn, so let's just scry. See if I can't find a counterbalance now. Uh, bottom. How much you trust the walrus? That's true. I, I've, I've heard that before. All right, bottom, bottom. Bang. Okay. Do I want any of these on top? Yeah, why not? Let's put our uh, Archimedes Charm on top. So on their turn, I can Charm, Flusterstorm, Aethergust. Okay, we're, we're good. And Force. Okay, so here comes the Ancestral. Do I need to fight this? They're, they're on a million cards in hand. I guess it gives them the freedom to spew, spew as many cards as they want this turn. So... Sea vampire, that's that's fantastic. All right, let's let's get in a let's get in a knife fight with a tiger. Nothing. Man, their deck is so bad. Okay, I still need one more mana. Dang it, Bobby. So if I snap Archmage's Charm at the end of their turn, I have Flusterstorm, I have Aethergust, and Force. It's probably enough. Okay. This is going to be where they... Did we have enough for... Oh, wow, we did. Okay. So I have Aether Gust and Force here. It should be good enough. Oh, they just didn't do anything. Cool. Weird. I don't know what their hand is, but it seems like it's literally 100% garbage. So here's my two mana win the game. So that seems good. It's time to get that 4-0, I guess? Question mark? That's hammer time. Bonk. Uh, ditch this opt. That's fine. All right. Good luck, friend. Exile's greater Gargadon. That's it, isn't it? Well, there it is. Uh, let's draw another two. Playing this on their turn is the best thing we can do. So they want to play a Restore Balance here, I think. Okay, let's see if we Blind Flip. Go. Spell Snare. That's not good. So we can't Aether Gust a um, Restore Balance, so we'll just Gust the Electrodominance. 
almost no matter what they play, we're going to force Spell Pierce. Uh oh, I have the, yep, I revealed the thing, right? Yes? Nice. Okay. Mystical Dispute. Force. <laughs> I'll reveal the spell snare again, and then I'll force you. Boosh. Get out of here. Game day bucket go boom. Shk, shk. Yeah, I got that 4-0. Even after punting game one. Goodness gracious. I don't know why this is the the evening of all um, all the red white or red blue ad, as foretold decks, but uh, I'm okay with it. We're we're doing fine against them. Riding high, baby. This is how my first league with blue white miracles went. We were on a hot streak all the way up to four uh, zero, and then I got eaten by Jundlerus. So, All right, we're against what the hell? Oh my god, we're against Damon. All right, uh, yeah, keeping this in the dark. No companion. Oh, sorry. So Damon is uh, one of the hosts of the Faithless Brewing podcast. I'm about to teach you a lesson how to build a really bad deck. If I conclude this league by beating the Damon Alexander, I'm a flip. Sure, I want that. Wow, okay.
Island Serum is either Storm or Phoenix. Oh, it could be Phoenix. I wonder. Yeah, I wonder. Or Dirtles. Never forget Dirtles. I mean, it could be a lot of stuff. Like, to be perfectly honest, like, Ser Serum Vision's like... So, Damon's a brewer. They build all sorts of nonsense decks. So, this... I have no strong feelings over what this could be. I think I'm going to Charm here because I have plenty of mana up next turn. I don't know what they could do to me here, but I could just reset the Charm next turn if I want to. It resolved. Sick. Do I want to be able to do that right now? No, I don't care about that. I want to be a little more ahead before playing this, Jace. Uh, we've got plenty of land drops, so... Again, conventional wisdom in the control matchup is just keep making land drops. Whoever starts stumbling first usually has to play first and usually dies. Could have been Cheerios. I mean, it could have. Uh, I'm going to just sit. Snappy is good. We started to start putting pressure on with Snap Opt. Jessica, yeah. Bolt me. Sure. I wonder if they're playing Dreadhorde. Luca Sahili. Oh, it could be. Could be. We're going to hit an Opt Red Heart. Going to cast my Opt Red Heart. No, no, no. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I, I, yep, that's... Did they play Serum Vision in that, though? I don't think so. Do I want another snap right now? No, not really. Well, no, not really. Perfect. More land. That is actually what I want. What are you... Are you gonna Helix? Oh my! Do I think I can beat that? Or is he going to play, like, a Gideon? Or Grace, yeah. I think I just snap off Force with the Spell Snare. So they only have one mana open, it's red or white, so I can't imagine. And then we're going to reset this Archmage's Charm. We don't know if we can count the payoff. You see, that's the thing. That's that's exactly it, Roy. I have no idea what their payoff is, but I'm not not really willing to chance it. I uh, yeah, it could be the end of the turn effect. Um, um, it's it's also got glory in the name, I believe. It's like unsung glory or something like that. And now they've snapped off two lightning bolts, so we're gonna play and plus Jace here. Metamorphose. Uh, yeah, we'll put that on the bottom, I guess. And then for next turn, we get to reset Force Negation. I doubt their payoff is a creature. Me too. But I don't know. And the thing, no, but the thing is, letting them have all their mana up, like, what if they have a counter? So what if they have a payoff and, a, like, a spell pierce or, you know, whatever nonsense? Yep, that's fine. Target acquired. I knew there was going to be a Dreadhorn Arcanist in this pile. <gasps> Ooh. It's still only a 3-3. Three, three. Sick. Oh. 
Did it? Can you choose not to mutate? Oh no, it's it's uh it's giving him the interface. That's funny. Oh, and they get to cast the bolt. That's fine though. It's not gonna kill my Jace. Okay. Uh, sorry. Pew. Easiest 5 of my life. Concession bolt? Concession bolt! Yay, magic! <laughs> moral of the lesson is I can't remember Roy you know what the moral was okay um okay so we saw bolts dreadhorde vadrock an extra turn spell I want dragon's claw? I don't know if I need anything. I mean, so so sorry. For sure, we're bringing in Ashiok. I think electrolyze is probably bad. Aether gust could be good. Fluster storm could also be good. A braid kills the X three. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're not wrong. I don't think I want anything else right now until I know for sure what... What, Vadrock? No, it gets things like Teferi, dude. Like, it's... it. The effect is reasonably powerful. Is Gust worth? I don't think so. But I, I don't know. That's the thing is like everything. Everything that's in here is fine for sure. So like, I'm just unwilling to put in cards that are speculative. I guess it's probably better than Force, even though Force was pretty good there. You can mutate onto a flip delver. I mean, you can, but mutating onto the flip delver is not actually all that useful. Yeah, other than the serum visions and the Vadrock, everything was. Uh, they're, they're probably just splashing blue for serum visions. Um, and then, yeah, okay. We'll, we'll try Aether Gust instead of Force and we'll see if we get punked. Anchor kills several X3s, but that assumes that I'm letting several X3s go into play. And the thing is, uh, Dry, Dry Bomer? Dry Bomer? Dry Bomber? Um, that they've resolved multiple creatures, and they, they only really want to play one or two at a time. So I think it would be a misstep to... It gets flying. Delver already has flying, and so does Vadrock. The, they, <laughs> Delver, Flip Delver is one of the worst things you can Vadrock onto, just because all you're doing is giving it an extra point of toughness and a what-the-flip... Well, that's something. Mutating Bogles. Yeah, right? Maybe we get to counterbalance them out of the game, though? That's what we're going to try to do. We're just going to try to slam this counterbalance and take them out. Suddenly, Anger looking real good. You are not wrong. I, I didn't know. Didn't know there'd be a Bogle. Now we know why there's blue, because they're not playing green. Okay. So mutating Vadrock costs four. So yeah, we're just we're just jamming this counterbalance and, and we're gonna pray. Spray and pray, baby. Go. 
Over to you, friend. Kitty in the trials. Yep. Trigger. Mystic Sanctuary. Womp womp. Steam vents can't do damage. No. So Ashiok's going out, and we're definitely getting uh, anger in here. Don't bolt that. Actually, I probably need to cast Archmage's Charm here. Dig for Cryptic Command to get that Gideon off the table. And then we get to reset the charm. Okay. I'm going to get beat up a little bit. Yeah, so it's Gideon as a combo with the... Um... <laughs> the Slippery Baguette is a master of surprising people with hexproof, scalability, and French cuisine. The more you know. The more you know. Boosh. I'm ready for like the I'm ready for like the ricochet card that um allows them to grab the okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, alright, alright, alright. So I could bolt that. I have bolt snap bolt. But that requires shocking right now, which I really don't want to do. I think we're just playing tap steam vents, pass the turn, and then next turn cycle. I could. How low can I go against this deck? Probably not too much lower. Yeah. But I just don't know if I'm. playing into death that way. Damnation sells persecution and finding out people can around, walk around static defense lines. Aha! Someone knows his history. All right. Uh, I think we're going to shock this. Yeah. I think we'll fight on their turn. So they activate Gideon, we go bolt, snap, bolt, and then hope the top of my library agrees with us that we're going to win this game. Okay. Because taking this hit down to four seems like a bad idea with the Bogle on board. Bogle on board, something, something, Bert Ward. Song writes itself. Yeah, because if I... Mm, mm. Uh, if I kill this before combat and they Vadrock... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I really don't want to bolt snap bolt here. Not yet. What is this? Okay, cycle, sure. I've never wanted Fry in my deck more. Okay, so if we Bolt, Snap, Bolt, they can go Vadrock, bring back my Gideon, crack you for three in the air with the Bogle. Their new Gideon can then plus to stop my Snapcaster Mage from doing damage. We can then not deal with their Vadrock in any way. Snap, bolt, snap, block, bogle. I know, but if they, yeah. This is just so awkward. I think we're gonna go opt, snap, opt. I know this probably seems weird and wrong, and maybe it is, but this is the choice we've made. When you mutate onto a planeswalker, uh, it's it's complicated. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about it right now. Basically, your creature will then have like loyalty abilities, but since it won't have the planeswalker type, um, depending on how you have stack them, Jace. Jace is no good. Bottom Jace. Block the bogle. 
out of five. Don't burn me out. Okay, counterbalance, do your thing. Oh no. Eight rock, hard cast. Sure. Flip. Snapcaster. Oh, neat. They have Mystic Sanctuary, that's crazy. So I can Bolt Snap, Bolt, have one mana up, which is not great. This is fantastic. <laughs> dry Bomber, Dry bomb er, Dry Bomber. Uh, you you are you are a welcome addition to our cabal. Okay. Uh, what the hell do I do here? Bolt Vadrock. Snap Chump the Gideon. Seems good. We're running out of snaps then, but that's probably okay. Welcome aboard, Explorer! So we're going to target the bolt. We can't do anything about it. But I mean, I could aim it at their head, but that's not good. Block. Do not go to... Do not go to death. Just looking to get a cryptic command. Goes end step. Okay, let's let's omen. Get some action going if we can. Hey, it's another bolt. Uh, bottom the charm, bottom the bolt. Yeah. Jace, you're not helping, Jace. You're not helping. Okay, I can pick up Archmage's charm, and then Jace. But Archmage's Charm doesn't help me here, so I suppose I could put Bolt on the top and hope that I draw another Bolt, even though I just bottomed one. He's trying. He is. He is. God bless. God bless you, little Bogle. Self-improvement is a wonderful thing. Put Bolt on top. Jace, see where we're at? Yeah, I think that's that's the line. Goddamn Gideon being at four this whole time. Here's my Jace. So there's the cryptic. I'm gonna put bolt on top because uh, they bolted me multiple times last game. So having a one CMC on top seems good. They also have serum visions. They also have bogles, and then we've got aether gust as well to defend ourselves here. C dasher octopus. Ah, uh, that's blue. Here's my bolt that's on top. Uh, we just died to C dash octopus. Okay, we have another game. We have another game. Okay, so we'll get him on the play, right? Yeah, we'll get him on the play. Okay. Okay, well, first of all, I don't do Cabals, not after the last time someone started waving dark rituals around. Summon a demon, they said. It'll be fun, they said. In the end, it was just a bunch of guys trying to satiate a fetish for having their own flesh rendered. Now I've moved on from Cabals and focus on self-improvement. If there's any life lesson I can give you guys, it's be the person a demon would try to make you a double-handed deal to become. Just without their help.
Nice, nice. It's quality. It's quality stuff. Okay, probably want to electrolyze back in here. No, I don't. But I do want anger? No, do I want anger? The bogle ne literally never got any bigger. Uh, although anger can wipe out multiple three drops, as was mentioned. Don't need the Ashiok. Spell snare seems fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we do want anger. I'm, I'm just... Yeah. And then I, th I think a braid out doesn't deal with the Planeswalker. Do I have any way to deal with Gideon? I think it's bringing back in the Force of Negations. And maybe cutting... Oh, these Aether Gusts were rough. Um, I know technically they could be fine, but they were not good. What is Snare good against? Dreadord Arcanist. Other twos, I assume? Lightning Helix is probably in their deck. We didn't see it. What is better than Spell Snare? Is there better cards than Spell Snare? Gideon went to Anger Management. He did. What is better than Spell Snare? Braid Electrolyze? Yeah. Gust probs. I uh, The gusts were so bad last game. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's have good hands. Let's have good flips with counterbalance, and let's go win. Let's get this 5-0. All right, it's all on the line here. This hand is insane. Thank you, deck. Probably should have played the Mystic Sanctuary there. Yeah, I think I definitely should have. No, this is a terrible matchup for me. You don't have to rub it in. Ah, they have the Bogles. Okay, they didn't have the turn one Bogle. Do they have the Spell Snare? I guess we're about to find out. Because if they don't, this hand is insane. Resolves? Yes. Boom, shakalaka laka laka. I believe in the you that believes in the me that believes in the you that believes in the Cabal that blindly believes the demon that believes in you being able to do it. Well, thank you, friend. I really appreciate some of those words. I, maybe. <laughs> Snap on top. Well, we're not playing a land next turn. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. 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 That's heresy. In the words of Homer Simpson, wait a minute, you're that same Snapcaster I flipped earlier. You're that same apple from before. Three mana. Okie dokie. Here comes the thunder. Here comes the thunder, baby! 
All right, let's do it. Yikes. Okay, I can keep. So, so we're just blind flipping here. So bottom, bottom. I mean, that means we can beat the Gideon. So flip. Mountain. Well, it's going to beat the Gideon. Remember, Raggy? Ranks? I mean, we kind of drew the things we needed there. And a Cryptic Command. So, like, I could bounce him at their end step. So we're, we're actually pretty fine here. And by pretty fine, I mean, <clears throat> you know. Unfortunately, the Soul Guide Lantern turns off the line of Bolt Snap Bolt, but uh, that's okay. Okay. So, Cryptic bounce this now? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then this Omen should get us to where we need to go. Oh no, 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 no. Bolt. Bolt it? Resolves? Island on top. Are they bolting to find out what was on top for my counterbalance? What are they? They're bolting me? Okay. Who's a wuzzle? Flusterstorm! Oh, because they needed the storm count. Nice. Man, they're going to be disappointed when I double bolt that Gideon, but nice. Oh, yeah. Nope. Can't pay for that one. Whoa, Doctor. We have got a game of Magic the Gathering on our hands here. The incredible comeback of the one and only Jim and Alexander here in this incredible match. Oh, good God. It's a lightning bolt. Does he have the second one? Oh, that's a big one. They didn't need Storm, though. Uh, they did, because the first one could have gotten countered if I had a one drop on top. So Damon, big brain. Huge flipping brain. i um, going to use this for Scry. Haven't hit any three drops on top yet. Still don't have a three drop on top. Bottom, bottom. Flip. Scalding Dark, Jesus. Okay, so we can fetch Mystic Sanctuary and when they bomb my graveyard in response, we could snap bolt that. So, still in this. We're still fine. One copy plus OG, you tapped out for cryptic. Oh, you're right. Huh, weird. Snap. Now I targeted that bolt with the Mystic Sanctuary. I want to target this bolt with the Snapcaster. That one. Okay. Pew. Get out of here, boosh. Boosh Iron Golem. Okay. They've run out of stuff? Whew, thank God. Oh! That's pretty good, huh? I think, um... I think I'll take it. See Dasher Octopus block? Lightning Bolt. Snap? Sure. Delta on top. Womp womp. Okay, bye snap. Does this mean I'm jacing them? I think so. Oh no. No, no. No, 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 no. No. You don't have enough for this. How could you? Okay. Okay. Let's find a three. I know there's a delta on top. That's the only thing I know. Bottom. Top the delta, draw it, flip the three, blind flip once. Steam vent. Oh no. 
Okay, next up, keep stop on my turn. Um, I really hope we don't get smashed here. Uh, I can upkeep scry away that steam vents and try to find something reasonable. We could play a Jace if we find one. So. But they know we have steam vents on top of our deck right now. Jeez Louise. Oh, thank God. They play nothing. Good, good, good. Did they also play nothing? Or are we going to die? Okay, thank God. Uh, upkeep Omen? What the hell? Nimble? Hey! Xanman hosting with 23 viewers. Okay, that's Sea Dasher Octopus is resolving. Uh, yes, you can see the steam vents again. I hope everything's going good for you guys. We are actually in the fight of our life right now in the final game against the one and only Damon Alexander playing some kind of crazy nonsense. Jess Kai mutate with Slippery Bogle. Oh, boy. They're mutating C Dasher onto. Okay, I changed the top card in my library. It's still a land. Wow. Oh, God. So they're going to hit me and draw two cards next turn? Insane. All right, well, if we lose this, I guess we were destined to lose. Oh my god, I can't even believe it. No. They're stopping. Do they have a third one? They can't have a third one. Okay, good. Whew. Double octopus trigger. Oh my god. The mystic mystical dispute on the Jace the other turn was just insanity. Yeah. <laughs> God, we are in some big, big trouble here. They can't do that. That's illegal. Not in this country. Okay, so we we just revealed the top. It was island. Yeah. Okay. Fetch steam vents. Nope. Drop. <sighs> Where were you? Ah, uh, no. it is Oh, cool. Thank you for the uh, follow, Dunlap1417. A shiny new donkey for whoever brings me the head of Colonel Montoya. They put Flusterstorm on top. Brutal. Oh, well. Oh, the, uh, the thing didn't play, did it? Oh, it's it's on the default for some reason. Huh. Yep, we're we're super super in trouble. Freaking sea dasher octopus, good lord. At least it's doing two damage per turn. Only. Please play a non-creature spell. That is not a non-creature spell. Alright, let's flip the right converted mana cost for once. Oh my god! Oh, you get to cast that? So I can counter the Gideon. All I see is land, I land. Do 
you know why my what my casserole in this situation have in common? It's done and it looks cooked. I mean, they goofed there. Their creature is only three power. They have a spectral sailor. I still have this island on top of my library. So we're going to go to three. Yeah, or anger. Technically. The problem is we're going to three and we've been flipping flat nothing. But like... The, I mean, they're going to draw another two cards. Like, it's just, yeah, technically, yes. I'm going to play it to the bitter end, but I... Uh, yeah, I, I know they're drawing cards, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. We don't 5-0 here. I've said that for a long time. Finally? Finally. Archmage's Charm is on top. Okay, so I can steal their Spectral Sailor on their upkeep. Then block this and draw a card. Yeah, I can do that. They do have Flusterstorm. So does that does that matter for me? It does not. Okay. Charm to try to find anger. Yeah, I guess we could have. Sure. Slash your max two. Wear tear. Snapcaster on top. I think I need to let that resolve right now. Okay. Oh, and then they're gonna flusterstorm now. But it. But I can pay for it. It's only three. I'd consider using charm to find anger. Charming. Thirty-nine cards still in our deck. I think. I think that would have been a little bold. A little ambitious. If they mutate a sea dash or octopus on top of this right now, this will stop being a legal target, which is pretty neat. No, that's three mana. Why are you tapping three mana? Four mana? Be a big brain play. That'd be pretty good. Oh, okay. No, they're just doing the thing. Okay, makes sense. Oh, I don't have a bolt. I really wanted to draw a card before I had to. Mystical Dispute. Good God. Okay, so that means they can now beat with the Flusterstorm. Okay. One, two, three. Yes. Now it's four. All right. They got us. Can't beat all that. So we were denied the 5-0 just barely, oh my god, by a pretty janky pile. We would have drawn the anger. <laughs> oh, that's so rough. It was right there. It doesn't mean it was right, but it was right there. All right. Three and a half hours on this bad boy. So goodness gracious. Okay, let's hop over to this deck and talk about this. All right. This thing is super sweet. A lot more fun for me than the blue-white... <clears throat> It was definitely right. I don't know about that. Doesn't janky imply poor quality? Absolutely. I think my opponent's deck there was poor quality. I think it was playing a lot of nonsense cards, and we got beat by nonsense cards because they filled a particular niche that we couldn't answer very well, specifically getting into the trials in Game 2 um, and Game 3 because we had to spend a lot of resources on it. And they had odd 
cards in certain spots. They they were playing a tempo deck. Yeah, of course, exactly. It's it's modern. You can get beat by anything. Um, they were playing a tempo deck of the lack of companion and a fair deck. Yeah, I just don't know what companion you can get in here other than expanding this deck up to 80 to play Orion, which might be correct. Um, you could play a teamer uh, counterbalance uh, in order to fit in abundant growth, but it messes with your curve all over the place. Um, the blue white version of this deck played Kahira as the companion, which I think is garbage. Um, I know aspiring spike is a very good player and a very good brewer. And he has much success with that deck. I just, I have played that deck for two leagues and I did not. Yeah. I understand that. Yeah. Turn, turn two counter balance is definitely, um, is definitely something you want and going up to 80 cards definitely dilutes that. So that's not a great idea. Um, where was I? Yeah, uh, I don't think playing Kahira as the sideboard card. Spike just didn't want to cut out cards for snaps. That's why I had Kahira. Okay, I mean, if you say so. But the, the snaps in here were insane. Snaps are not as good in the blue-white deck, though. It's They're fine, but... Yeah, they're not as good as they are in here. Um, Yeah. I don't know if I change anything in this main deck. This main deck is freaking sweet. Um, maybe a little, I'd have to tank on it for a while. I think four Snapcaster Mages might be a lot. If you actually divide up this curve the way it plays out, it's kind of more like this. This is a lot of four. Free rolling a free creature, it's always worth it in a deck. No, I get it. But the, the, you want high synergy to make counterbalance good. Um, and there's no good companion for this deck at all. At all, at all. So... I just don't think you need one. And we got 4-1 without, like, you know, we, we, we broke a couple sweats, and we, we could have gotten the 5-0 quite easily there. So it, this is great. I'll play this again for sure. Um, may, mostly off stream, most likely. Uh, anywho, uh, that is the end of my evening. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here with us. Luris and Counterbalance sounds like it should have synergy. That's true. You could try a blue-black version of this deck with Luris. How is three Sanctuary versus four? I think it's probably right. We drew Sanctuary in a high number of opening hands, but and one was fine, but two would be bad. So, can't counter high stuff. The only thing is, um, with Counterbalance, you really want to play Jace the Mind Sculptor. So I think you'd have to find a replacement for Jason. I just don't think there's anything good enough. Uh, that's 2 CMC or lower. 4 def if you try it with Yorian. 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 Anyway, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, folks. As I was trying to say before, uh, this will be up on my YouTube tomorrow or, or early tonight. No, today. Early today. It, it, it'll probably be up on YouTube in an hour and a half for anyone who wants to watch it. And... Uh, I've got to try to figure out how to splice together the two halves of that other deck I played, or we'll probably just play it again later this Compadres, week with some updates. It is Thank you, Jug13S, for the follow. The rainy season. And remember, a shiny new donkey for whoever brings me the head of Colonel Montoya. I friggin' love that clip. I'm so glad I put that.